do hydrocolloid patches work for pimples and other breakouts on the skin? Let's get started. A pimple which has popped open is essentially a wound. It's got fluids and pus and oils and all those things oozing out of it. So it's a basically a wound. For the pimple to heal, it needs a moisture, not the moisture from the environment or the atmosphere. It needs the moisture that's there in the deeper layers of the skin. But once a pimple has popped open, what happens is the skin's barrier function in that region becomes very weak. What I mean by that is the visible layer of the skin acts as a shield. It acts as a barrier and prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment and it also protects the skin from attacks from environmental nasties. Because the pimple, once it's popped open, the skin there has become weak in its barrier function, water from underneath it can easily evaporate into the environment, plus that region is very prone to attacks from all the nasties in the environment and this leads to further aggravation of that region. So that makes the healing process very difficult. It lengthens the healing process. And with the lengthening of the healing process, what can also happen and which probably happens in a lot of cases is inflammation. And once there is inflammation on the skin, an excess amount of a pigment called melanin gets produced in the deeper layers of the skin. So whenever there's inflammation, melanin, they go into overdrive and an excess amount of um, melanin gets produced and this excess melanin makes its way to the visible layer of the skin and once it reaches the visible layer of the skin it just deposits itself as dark spots and uneven skin tone so any kind of inflammation is going to lead to these dark spots and uneven skin tone which is nothing but pigmentation and the chances of inflammation are very high in a wound and that's why we need to help the wound to recover to heal as fast as we can so the inflammation chances are reduced and the chances of this post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is reduced. And that's what a hydrocolloid patch does for a pimple. It only works on a pimple which has been popped open. Now how it works is it's got four sets of ingredient categories. The first category of ingredients is the adhesive. It's going to make that colloid patch stick on the skin. The second set of ingredients would be occlusives. Now these are the ingredients which form a thin layer on top and prevent any water loss from the deeper layers of the skin. So it acts as a shield, it helps the skin in its barrier function. Now the third set of ingredients are the ingredients which collect all that pus and the fluids that's oozing out of the pimple. So it's basically this set of ingredients is basically cleansing that area. The final set of ingredients, the fourth set, they hold all these three set of ingredients together. It's a film which holds all these three sets of ingredients together. Another important benefit of a hydrocolloid patch when a pimple has popped open is we know it's not the right thing to do when we touch that area because we carry the germs from our fingers to that area when we touch that spot and that's going to further delay the healing process. It's going to aggravate that area even further. By putting a colloid patch on the popped up pimple, we're kind of preventing touching that area. And the second important benefit is the sun's UV rays. So we can't apply sunscreen on that region. So by going out in the sun, the sun's UV rays, that's going to further inflame that region and delay the recovery process. So it's also protecting that region in the sun's UV rays. One important side note is, please don't apply any active ingredient on that area and then put this uh, colloid patch on top of it. There are other patches which already have some active ingredients in them. If you need an active ingredient like a salicylic acid or something like that, those are the different kind of patches that you need to go for. Hydrocolloid patches, they don't have any active ingredients. They're simply like a band-aid in there. So you can't actually put an active ingredient and then cover it up with a hydrocolloid patch because the hydrocolloid patch is going to provide such a strong seal and when you put an active ingredient and then seal it off like that, it's going to aggravate that region and inflame that region and further make it worse. In fact, it might actually leave it in a worse off state than you started off with. So if you want to use an active ingredient, please go ahead and do that. 
forget the hydrocolloid patch. Don't apply that and put the hydrocolloid patch on top of that. The next thing is it only works on a pimple that's popped open because it needs all that fluids to collect from the pimple. It's basically cleansing that area and giving it its own environment to heal faster. So that's what hydrocolloid pa patch is doing. It's just shutting it off from the rest of the world and saying, I look after you, you go to your work and heal faster. That's all it's doing. So the pimple has to be popped open. So its main job is to cleanse that area by collecting all that fluids and forming a seal. If the pimple hasn't popped open, there is not much of healing happening there. So it's not going to, a hydrocolloid patch is not going to work. Another last thing, if you've got acne, this is not going to fix acne. It's merely giving it a protective area to heal. That's all, but it's not killing the bacteria which is causing the acne. So for that, you need different kinds of skincare products. This is not the answer to treating or fixing the acne. It works better on popped up pimples than on anything else, to be honest. That's when you would think of hydrocolloid patch. A popped open pimple, that's when you would need a hydrocolloid patch. When it gets to the acne stage, this might not be the answer. That's it. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. It'll really, really, really help me a lot. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.